It's the happy hour. Yes, it is. Right here at Sirius XM Fly. I'm HB with a full house tonight in the happy hour. That's right. <laughs> Yo, y'all don't even understand the tears of joy that I got when I read my text message from my play cousin in the industry. Yes, he already knows. I tell everybody we play cousins. And he hit me. He said, Yo, I'm coming to Sirius XM and I'm on everybody's show. I don't see your show. What's the deal? What's happening? And I was telling him about my schedule. He was like, No, we will figure it it out and we will make it work i will stay late and if, if i have to and that's exactly what he did to stop by the happy hour tonight i'm talking about the one and only play cousin mr jesse smollett is what's here good, family? everybody fam, jesse, fam, what's good I love thank you. Thank you. I love you, no, too. No, thank you. Of I course. love you, too. And I'm just happy and I'm proud. Yes, I heard the music. And can I just skip right now from 2018 to 2020, the year of the Olympics, <laughs> when I want freedom just ringing all through every stadium. Yes. Just all yes. of Let me our go live athletes. On so yes. <laughs> so they need to just <laughs> go live right now and understand what I'm saying. How, listen, happy hour crew and fly family. And two. 2020 Jesse Smollett will be standing I am professing this I am putting this out and anointing this situation getting in divine connection with God right now Jesse Smollett will be standing in Olympic Village Olympic Stadium singing this song Freedom because it is that big and it is that beautiful thank you so much what in the world allowed this song to even come about um friendship and love I mean, I uh, one of my really good friends brought me the song, Brian Terrell Clark, who's just this incredible uh, artist who, I don't know if y'all know, he starred as Marvin Gaye and Motown the Musical on Broadway. Oh, he yes, I saw that. that okay, yeah, he originated okay. that role. And then, um, and then now he's in Hamilton as Washington. And Got he it. just... You know, I kept pushing pushing for him to be on Empire because I was like, yo, like, he's dope. And, you know, I just wanted to work with friends. Mm-hmm. And he ended up getting a role as my friend and the character will unravel, you know, um, uh, more. But he he's playing one of Jamal's friends that Jamal actually don't have sex with. OK. <laughs> Jamal's ratchet. OK. Jamal's, oh. <laughs> um, and uh, and he's just one of my really good friends. And he started playing me all of these songs as I was working on my album. And my album was coming to the end. Like I felt like I was really piecing it all together. Mm-hmm. And he just played me all this music and it was great. But it wasn't right for anything that I was okay. doing. Yeah. And then a rough version of this song came. And then he tried to play another song. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And we were driving around in my car. And I was like, whoa, 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 play that again. And I said, and I felt it. And again, it's one of those things where you just know that it's yours and it connects with you. I've written like 85% of the album. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't need, I'm not one of these people. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm not one of these people that has to you know, write every single thing. If I hear a song that I love, that I connect with, that I know that I feel that I could do justice to it, Mm -hmm. then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on it. And this song, it was just so raw. It was so, and I knew that my voice, my voice would love it. So um, we recorded, I literally, he, he left town and I flew to New York three days later and recorded it. It was just recorded probably two months ago. Really? Yeah, and and that ended up. I played it for my music team, my mm-hmm. managers, uh, Brandon and Fran, and I, uh, Francois. I mean, I don't know if Fran want to be known as Fran. Or, oh, can we just but, please get Francois on camera? Come, come, yeah, come here because Fran, Francois you're, the man. you're a piece of work anyway. Fran the man. Yeah, Fran the man. Let from everybody the see you from, from the, the Bay. Bay Happy area. Hour Crew, Fly Family. One of the brains behind the Absolutely. system of, of Jesse Smollett. Other manager is Brandon Moore. Like we have a we have a really okay. great. A great team, and it's it's all love, man. And most of our team comes from the Bay. From the Bay. If you don't mind sharing, because I don't hardly have the opportunity to do this, what did you feel when you heard the song Freedom? What what was going through your mind when you heard it? Um. So, you know, the one thing... Oh, Fran got to take the mic. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you see how he did it. Okay, He's ready for prom time. time. He's ready for prom sure time. You can hear me, you know what okay, I'm saying? Ow. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> You know, let's get him a cocktail too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, Jesse is an amazing artist, and you know, 
you don't you're not really prepared for it. Once you hear it, it just it resonates immediately, mm-hmm. and that and a lot of music doesn't do that. You usually have to like sit with music for a little while, let it grow on you. That's not how this music feels. Yeah, you know, it, it resonates immediately. So it was just amazing, and I know as soon as I heard the music, I immediately wanted to be a part of this entire journey. And so dope. That's what we're doing. Man, that's what we doing. Jesse big Smollett, friends. big up to you, Francois. Yes. Cocktail on the way. Uh, man, it's the happy hour. Yes, it is. Jesse Smollett is here. The song is called Freedom. I can't talk about it enough. I'm obsessed with this record. Let's hear it right now. Happy Hour Crew, Fly Family. More up next. It's the happy hour. Yes, it is. Right here, Sirius XM Fly. I'm HB with my play cousin, Jesse Smollett, hanging out, talking about his album is going to come out on March 2nd. Is it a different type of butterflies in your stomach for music versus like the release of a new season, the release of it? It has to be different. Yeah, of course, because music is music is mine. It's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Music is my heart. I guess my breath. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's, um, and my breath be smelling good. So Ayo. Y'all know. <laughs> but um, but no, it's 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 my baby. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. the closest thing that I've. It's mine. I don't. I don't really know how to put it into words completely. But but you know, there's so many other people involved, and in, and I don't have full control over um Characters. a new season yeah. or or playing someone else and as I should not because it's not my creation you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying but this right here is this is for me what empire is for Lee Daniels you know what I'm Got saying it. it's mine and it's my stories that I get to tell that I care about and for that there's nothing better even like and, and I keep saying this like not every song is about something you know extremely deep or anything yeah, like that yeah, there's some songs that. that are just you know about sex about whatever but it's it's still mine it's my choice and I own these and these are these are my babies here's what I admire about you and I don't know if I ever had an opportunity to say this to you but I admire how you manage your time <sighs> I do, because I I know I could pick up the phone and call you, and Mm -hmm. I know that you would pick up or call me back or text me back or whatever. But I also, I watch you as a fan, and I I watch you on social media. I watch you doing certain things, and I'm like, you have so much going on, but you never gave up on music. Mm -mm. Like, never. And I think that's something to be said about people who have this dream, and they know that with everything else going on, they still should be doing that one thing, Mm -hmm. you know? And Mm -hmm. I was just sharing with a friend um, recently and saying, you know you got this favorite pair of shoes and you love the shoes, but your feet are growing. Mm. And sometimes growth is uncomfortable, Mm -hmm. but you have to grow. You got to give up those shoes. You got to give them up. They don't fit anymore. You could pull it off, but the whole time you hurting. Every time you slide your foot mm-hmm. into that situation, I admire that about you that you have used your time to grow and get Thank out of you. those shoes. Ugh. You know. Thank you. Um, what was your support system behind that? Um, I feel like everything. You know, of course, I have an inc- an incredible team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I keep saying it's like no man is an island. Oh yeah, and true. It's yeah. so true. Like there, I'm. N- it is not lost on me that I am not doing this by myself. Okay, okay. I have such a wonderful team, but I I feel like I've created a team based on my idea that I was brought up with, which is family. And Mm. so that's why I always go back no matter where I go, no matter what I do, the root of everything is my mother. So in those moments when I'm I'm lonely or alienated or insecure, I always go back whether I and usually it's a matter of calling my mother, talking to my mother, seeing my mother. But even in those moments when I can't, I talk to her. And I hear her in my head, Mm. the things that she taught me as a child. And one of those things were to create for yourself and to not wait for someone else to tell you that your ideas are valid enough for them to validate them and them give it a go. Mm. So for that, 
it's just a thing of for me that's what i was that's why to me freedom was the perfect first yeah song to put out there because just the title alone it's what i've been searching for and it's what i want in my life and once you strip away ego and you strip away everything else words and control of companies or people that don't necessarily have your best interest at heart once you realize that you've got to do it for yourself there literally is no holding you back you know mm. and for that that's why i'm always going to find a way to do what i want to do because i know number one what i want to do is never going to hurt anybody it's never going to take advantage of anybody it's only going to lead with love so for that it's like how can i lose even if and i said this earlier mm -hmm. on on sway's show okay. with you mm -hmm. i said about how i I want the album to sell. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, want it to course. do well. Yeah. Like, I'm a businessman, too. Right. But at the end of the day, I know that my intentions and my, my heart is pure. And for that, I'm going to always be okay. I'm going to always, even if I lose my way, I'm going to always find my way back to my center because of the way that I was raised from the beginning. And that is that crazy little lady, Janice Smollett. I love it. It's the happy hour. Yes, it is right here. Sirius XF Fly. Few more minutes left with Jesse Smollett. We're going to do it all up next. All right. Hang out. It's the happy hour. Yes, it is right here. Sirius XF Fly. I'm HB with my play cousin, Jesse Smollett. He is here. Get the single Freedom. You got to get that anyway, because this is the song when, okay, you're not sure. Look, I'll tell everybody like January, February, it's funny because your man is about to leave you, basically. Uh, no, seriously. Because they all Damn. gear up for May. May is uncuffing season, Jesse. Is it? it May is uncuffing season. Why? He, because Negroes get ready for the summer to leave you. And they and May is their mark. They hit the mark in May like at the at a percentage you cannot believe. So January, February, they start to figure it out. They, but they, when did you get with the brother? Well, you got with him around September. Okay. You know, you you stay, you snuggled, you know, for for the holidays. The yeah, the full, as soon as the leaf fall off the tree and you, you, you snuggled all holiday season, it was cute. He bought you a little Pandora, the little thing to hang off the thing, got your feet done, bundles on deck. Bundles but, on <laughs> deck? But then... Oh, my God! <laughs> but then... His eye is on the prize in May. Let's not get it twisted. Is his eye on the prize for May um, for the next conquest for September? Well, just to have fun. He needs to release now. You know, the bear has been hibernating. It's time to come out. And so they start to figure it out January 1st. They start to test you. So it's a little funny right now. Fuck that nigga. Okay. Like, why are y'all even dealing with that fool? Like, <laughs> Listen, it's all good, y'all. Come somebody on. Somebody turn the lights back on. We, we, okay, thank y'all. Did it happen? Okay, it's good. No, not why we're even dealing with I'm married. I'm in. Yeah, because I'm looking at this big old Whitney Houston rock on your finger. <laughs> no, I'm married. I'm good. But I'm. this is 17 years, though. Okay. This is... Old, old That's hood real love. love. That's yeah, this real is hood love. love where you ain't got the rent. All right, let's figure it out. That's this that Cookie Lucius <laughs> love. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on the futon together, love. That's what kind of love. We gonna got split it. this pack of chicken legs, <laughs> love. It. That's what kind of love that is. But this new love is different. And these young girls and these younger people, inexperienced, I should say, don't really understand the cycle. Right. They're not paying attention to what these men, they're on a schedule. They, it's, it's, It never fails. So, yeah, they're going to start to act funny around January, February. The bills are in now, the credit card bills from the holiday. This is different. He's setting you up for May. So you're going to need a theme song. And uh, Freedom is It. That was my point. Now... As we have our cocktails and listen to Freedom, Jesse was telling me about Jake and this this cooking. That your brother, what is going yeah, on? Yeah, no, he's an amazing chef. We actually have, have a book. we have the book. Yes. The book is coming out April twenty fourth, and it. um, right in time for Mother's Day. Yes. right in time for May. <laughs> right in time for May. <laughs> you be by um, yourself for uncuffing season, <laughs> so you could cook yourself some real good comfort food. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah it's just you know my family is definitely you know. Uh, we wear many hats. Yeah, I love it though. And this is though. the thing: we all do what the, we can, we can all do what the other does. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. of my siblings can sing, but not all of them do it professionally. Right. I, all of us can cook, but not all of us do it professionally. professionally. And so Jake is doing it. Professionally. Jake is doing it professionally. 
Um, and he's killing it. And Jazz is doing it professionally too, but she's more on like a lifestyle type of okay, thing. Okay, got it. Uh, but yeah, man, like Jake has been killing it. He's one of the best chefs that I know. Is he on Instagram? Post yeah, he's on Instagram. What's his Instagram? Jake Smollett. All right, and what's we yours? We keep it real simple. Jesse Smollett. Okay, no, seriously. Like <laughs> Jazz Smollett. Yeah, everybody well, doing Journey it. Journey Bell. <laughs> Jackie everybody Smollett. Doing it. No, I'm going to hook up with Jake next time we can get together because I just cook on a small it's just comfort food or whatever but it started mm-hmm. out with the cocktails it started out with drinks hence the happy hour yeah. i was doing these uh celebrity residencies at different bars in new york city i would just so go dope. in and just start making drinks and everything and sort of like sell out the happy hours i just and- wish that your listeners could taste the drinks through <laughs> the speakers <laughs> because I don't know what's my life right now. You don't even know. <laughs> How about but this? But I'm feeling life <laughs> in a certain sort of way because that tastes like mango juice. Yeah. It tastes like, it just tastes like juice. Happy, right? But it's happy. It's happy. That's what it's all about. This fool called me one day was like, did you make Crown Royal Ice Pops? I was like, yes, I did. Yeah. He's like, I don't even know how I saw that, but I need one next time. Because I, I was just York. like, I was like, yo, alcohol don't freeze. So what happened? I was like, but it was so good looking. Yeah, but see, what happens is that you have to understand the consistency right. of it. So I made it into sort of like a slushy first. See, I love big people Slurpees. Yeah, that's what it is. I love big people Slurpees. <laughs> that's my whole food truck. I got it. All yeah. right, so I'm just doing big people Slurpees, big people on slurpees. with Jake. He got to have, we got to need something to eat, though. While he, you I mean, he will bring you some chicken wings. Some, French fries. He, he makes he, homemade French fries. Like, take a potato and make that with the skin on. You like, got to get popping. out now. I'm hungry yeah, and everything now. Why are you doing this? Just fries and big people Slurpees. Yeah. That's it. You only yeah. need like four items on a food truck. And you Chicken can wings, fries, and big people, people slurpees. slurpees. That is Heather B. and Jake S. That's y'all. That's y'all. Let's get it. I'm serious. Let's get it. That's I'm, I'm down. Happen. All right. New idea. Sorry, I'll buy the we'll, truck. Buy well, the no. Truck. Sway will buy the truck. Sway will get Sway to buy the truck. <laughs> you come on there every now and then. Stop by. Sing a little fun. Exactly. Go. And then you just go on there. And we need some other cuffing fries and then we just all go about our business jesse play cousin i, I love, love you, you so much i love, I love you, you so too much. oh my love gosh so go get the album march 2nd some of my music of course obviously but freedom i'm serious I, I'm, y'all don't even understand how he's going to be singing at the olympics this is like that soundtrack oscar nominated song like you just need this to get through and that's all i'm just saying i'm telling you now don't say i didn't warn y'all